Hi guys, welcome back to Coding with Kaden. Today we will be learning how to code the popular retro game, Street Fighter. Let's hop right into it by coding player 1. We're going to grab a when flag clicked and we're going to set its position and tell it to show. So we're going to go into motion here, grab a go to block, this will set its position for the start of the game, go into looks, and grab a show. This is just because later on in the game we will be telling this sprite to hide, so we want to make sure that at the start of the game it will be showing. Okay, let's now move on to keys that will determine the movement. We will be using the A and D keys to control player 1 and the left and right arrow keys to control player 2. We will be using the S key for player 1 to punch and the space key for player 2. Let's code that now. We're going to go into events, grab a when A clicked, go into motion, grab a change X by, and then because we're moving left, it'll be minus 10. Okay, let's now go and grab another when. This time we're going to make it when. D is clicked. When D is pressed, we will move change X by 10. Okay, let's now grab S. Down a bit further. S. We're then going to tell this character to hide, then go into control, grab a wait one second, go back into looks and grab a show block. This allows our punching character to arrive onto the scene and to hit the other character. Okay, so we're now going to change a variable. We're now going to make a variable. This will be called player one health. This is going to determine the amount of health that the player will have throughout the game. Each hit will take 10 health off of the player. So we're just going to grab that and set that to 100. Going to go back into here, grab a when flag clicked. Going to grab a forever loop and then an if. Going to sensing, grab a touching. We're going to be touching it will be this character here which is called pixel boxer 5 okay all right and then we're just going to go into variables and say change player health by and set that to minus 10. We're then going to tell it to wait one second just so that when the player is punching it will not keep on taking health off of the other its opponent because it will go from 100 to 0 quite quickly if we don't put in that wait one second. Okay let's move on to coding player 2. Player 2 is a similar story 
So we're just going to grab a Wayne flag clicked. Set his position as well. And tell him to show. This is just in case when the player effectively goes away and dies. It will show, it will make sure that it shows again when the game starts. Okay. Now we're going to move on to his movement. Which, as I said earlier, will be controlled by the left and right arrow keys. Same story. We're going to change his X. Left arrow will change his X by 10. Move on to right arrow. His X will change by minus 10 this time. and then go into events and it is a when space clicked this time it is just quite simply same as the other player I hide wait one second and show if you enjoyed today's video please give it a like and subscribe if you're new it really helps me out and it means that you guys won't miss a video I try and upload every week. Okay, now we're going to move straight on to grabbing a variable, creating a new one, and this one's going to be called player two health. I'm going to move this one over to this side to correspond with the player. And then we're going to set it to 100 at the start of the game. Just move these out of the way quickly. And then we're going to go into events, grab a when, a when flag clicked, a forever if loop. Sensing, sensing, touching, and let's see what other character it is. It's this guy, and he's Pixel Boxer 4. I know that some people might think that it's easier to have them in separate costumes, but to my knowledge on this application, that would make it a lot of a harder job whereas if you just separate them and tell them to hide and show it would make it a lot more simpler and a lot more simple for you to code okay so touching pixel box or four just gonna hop back onto the variables and change make sure that we change it to player two health I need to do this up here as well we just hit minus ten and then wait one second. Okay. So, so far, this is good. This is working out. We're just going to go in here. And we're going to code the show of the punching character. So, we just want to go into events. Grab a when flag clicked. A looks block show or hide we're going to grab a hide just now because we don't want it to show currently um it's quite a simple sprite to code and we're just going to say as it's the player one it's going to be when s when s is clicked it's just going to show we're actually going to put in a go to before that Use the drop down menu and it'll be this player download one for me. Okay. Now we're going to tell it so we've got the go to, we've got the show. I'm just going to add that wait one second. Back into looks. Grab a hide block. And that should be us all set for that player.
Now we're just going to move on to this other player. Similar thing here. Just a hide block. And then we're going to go and grab a Wayne who's space clicked. Grab a go to motion. And I think don't know which one this is it's download to okay so we're now just going to hop back into him and download to there we go go into looks grab a show and a hide go into control grab that wait one second and put it in between there okay Let's test out our game so far and see if there's any bugs. Ah, an immediate bug right here. So when trying to move player 2, it has the controls swapped around. However, he does go back to the start. So we're just going to grab him here and say, Ah, right, okay, I see the problem here. So basically he's moving to the right when left arrow is pressed and left when right arrow is pressed. So we just need to change the right arrow to 10 and the left arrow to minus 10. Nice and simple. And then player two works fine. You can see that both of their health is at 100 and player one works fine. Let's see if they can punch now. Yep, player one can punch. And so can player two. Brilliant. Let's move them closer. And we'll see if they can take health off of each other. They can't currently, which is good. That's what we want. However, we do want them to be able to win the punch. That took one health off of... That took ten health, sorry, off of player two. And again, and again, and again. Let's try it with player 2 to player 1. Perfect. That works great. Okay, just reset them. Okay, so now our game is fully functioning and it works really, really well. Let's add in what happens when the player's health reaches 0. So we're just going to go into here and this is for player 2. So it's going to be a forever if statement forever if go into operators I'm going to grab a less than block I'm going to pop a 1 into the furthest away slot go into variables and grab player 2 health if player 2 health is less than 1 then we will go and move on to death. Okay, so if it's less than two, eh, less than one, sorry, then we'll want it to hide. Okay, so we'll want the player to hide and then we will end the game there. So just going to stop all and plop that into there. I'm going to go back into here and just do the exact same thing but for player 1 and player 1's health. Okay, so forever if statement into here. Less than 1 variables, player 1 health, going to tell them to hide and then we're going to end off the game. Okay, I'm going to now add a background from scratch and Let's see which one looks best here. That one looks good. Wall one. Let's go with that. 
Okay. Cool. I know that I could clean up my sprites a wee bit, but obviously you guys could spend a lot more time on that if you wanted to make it a proper game. I'm just going to run it now and show you guys the game in full. Just checking that player 1 can kill player 2 and player 2 can die. Awesome. There we go. We'll just check that player 2 can do the same to player 1. So we'll just get him all the way over to here. Get him to... Oh, not the correct guy to punch. Alright. You can see up here that player 1's health is going down. There we go. Okay. I'm just going to add in here just for a little bit more of a heightened game. I'm just going to put in a I win. I win. Exclamation mark. In there. And then again another I win. Exclamation mark. Okay, that looks good. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a like and consider subscribing. Turn notifications on so that you don't miss a video. I'll be uploading every Friday. If you guys have any ideas of what games you would like to see next, let me know down in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.